Hey everyone, Reed here. Today, I want to show you multiple ways to apply specific colors using field-based conditional formatting. Now, I've previously only used hex codes before when doing this, but thanks to some information provided by Will Thompson over at the Power BI team, I now know there are more color codes that can be used. So let's hop into Power BI and get started. So the primary goal of this video is to talk about the actual measures themselves, which in this case are going to be these codes that we have up here. And as I talked about, I had previously only used hex color codes before, but there's going to be a few other types that we're going to discuss today. Um, but if you are curious how to actually apply these as far as the field-based conditional formatting goes, I'm going to go ahead and link you to that video down here. And if you're even more curious about how I actually applied that field-based conditional formatting to these cards, where on this one it's applied to the title, this is applied to the background, it's applied to the data label, I also have another video that discusses that that I'll link you to here. But let's stay focused on the, the primary goal of this video and talk about the other types of color codes that you can apply. So as I'm saying, historically, I had used hexadecimal um, code to indicate either if it's green, yellow, red, or any color that I've looked up online um, on a hex code generator or anything like that. And then reference the variables down here to basically create that logic for me. Um, however, I don't actually have to just use hex colors. If I am more comfortable, I did find out that you can actually use RGB colors as well. So here's an example of that code listed right here. Um, you can use RGB or RGBA the A representing the alpha transparency layer, so how transparent that value is, but same exact colors, but now just provided as the RGB code instead of the hex code. And the output will be completely the same. The card in the far left is hexadecimal code, and the one in the middle is using field-based conditional formatting on the background, except it is calling upon this measure instead. And last but not least, there is a third type that you technically can use. Um, that is going to be the color name colors. Now this one is you actually can just specify the name of the color itself as long as it is within the named list for HTML color codes and more specifically the color names. However, the downside to this, as clean as it looks, where you can just type in the word of the color, is there's only about 140 supported names that I've found online. The other ones just don't return anything. It just stays black. Um, so you are significantly more limited into how specific and custom you can get that color. So I wouldn't personally recommend this, but if you do want to just use names, that is an available feature in Power BI, which is kind of cool. Um, personally, I'm going to stick to hexadecimal code most of the time. That is already the native type of color code that is supported in Power BI. Uh, if you are to go to any visualization, let's say as an example, just go to the background and you go to the colors. It already is returning and using hexadecimal code. So I find it easier just to keep that consistency. But just know that you have the freedom now really to use any of those three. Technically, HSA color codes are also supported, but I've just not found a use case for those versus the other ones. So that about covers it for this video. And if you found this video useful, please click or smash that like button below. And if you have any comments for this video or have a suggestion for your future video, add that to the comment section down below. And if this is your first time to my channel or you want to see more of these awesome videos, please click that subscribe and notification button. And otherwise, I will see you in my next video.